Hi everyone and welcome to day 23 of your 24 days of Pilates. Today's routine is about ease and digestion. So those days when you're just feeling like you need to kind of give yourself some love, that you don't really want to be like holding anything in or kind of pushing too much, but just allowing the body to ease. You still want to get a little bit of movement going, some lovely twisting and just sort of taking care of yourself. So hopefully this is a routine that is part of the challenge during the festive time when we might be overindulging and we just want to, you know, kind of give our body some love without pushing too much. So it's a routine that you can come back to at any point as well um, after the challenge too. So really lovely, lots of love for ourselves. We're going to come onto our back. We're going to take the legs out in front of us and today's is just all about kind of ease tomorrow we'll be ending with a real dynamic finish bringing all of our work together with a lovely pilates flow but today we're just gonna let ourselves ease we don't have to hold anything in put on something comfy and just be here so you're going to just make one leg longer than the other so you're going to reach your right leg down the mat Bring it back and then reach the left leg down the mat. So you're going to feel sort of a little stretch through the hips and abdominals. And again, just kind of really reach that leg away. And you're just alternating sides. So one hip kind of pulls up, the other leg reaches away like it's being pulled out. So just stretching through into the tummy, just letting the tummy breathe and move and then just bring in your legs back to a level position and we'll do a little hip roll so bring your legs in and just let your feet and knees come together arms to the side and we'll do a nice twist breathing in breathing out so just letting the knees roll to the side keep the feet stacked on top of each other feeling a twist through your back, allowing the weight of one leg to lift you back to the center. Breathing in and breathing out. And just feel that one hip picks up as the other hip rolls over and onto that side. So just lovely twisting through the back. Good, and then we'll bring the right knee into the chest. Nice big stretch for that low back into the mat. Slide the left leg down and just feel this lovely hip stretch. And we're gonna come into another twist. So we're gonna pull that right leg over, letting that hip lift again, bringing your right arm to the side. Just look, turn your head to that hand and just kind of twist through your back and just feel that lovely sense of opposition, breathing to the waist, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out, reaching and lengthening. Enjoying that stretch, cross, twisting through the tummy, through the back. And then coming back to the center and just let the knee open, hold on to it and just reach out through the opposite hip. So a little open groin stretch. right in the middle of the mat. Good, so then reach that leg down and then just bring the other leg up, hug it in, feel that lovely stretch of the low back down into the mat, just hugging this leg in. And then twisting across, so just take that left leg across the body, Reach your right arm, sorry, your left arm to the side. Just turn your head that way. So just enjoy this really lovely twist. Just let that hip lift. You don't need to hold it down. Really let it twist over. Breathe into the whole body. Breathing in, breathing out. Space, length, ease, 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 ease. Just reaching and releasing. Can feel things going on in my in my digestion in my tummy and then just open that leg out to the side and just have this little stretch here 
maybe holding the knee in or just holding the ankle, the back of the thigh. Just keep the other leg rooted down. And then just bringing that leg back and sliding it along the floor. And then just reach your arms all the way back and bring your right leg to the right of your mat, your left foot over, right arm to the right of your mat and left arm over. And just feel this lovely stretch and sort of side bend, like a little banana shape with the body to the right. And you're gonna breathe all through that left side that's open. Imagine your feet and hands are being pulled away from each other. So feet and hands are going over to the same side. And then bring yourself back to the center, bring the legs back and then bring your left foot to the left. Right foot hooks over the top, left hand to the left. Oh, that feels good. Left hand reaches into the top. And then you're just going to pull on that side. Breathing in, breathing out. Such a lovely, just checking that my mic's all right. Such a lovely side bend stretch. Reach those feet, stretching through. And then coming back to the centre. Feeling nice and kind of stretched out. Let's roll onto our all fours. Just coming around, bringing yourself up. And we're gonna take a nice moving cat stretch so that we can come into a little bit of extension and just stretch through the front of the body and get the hips moving. So this is where we're gonna bring our hands just slightly forwards of the shoulders. And we're gonna be here and we're just gonna breathe in as we sit back towards the heels. Breathe out as you lead with the tail like we did in our cat yesterday, lead with the tail, but come all the way through into your extension, just stretching, lifting, pushing the mat away, and then just send the sit bones back, all the way back to the mat, all the way back to your heels. And then again, breathe out, lead with the tail. As you come down through the spine, just push the mat away. Feel that lovely stretch and keep the knees down, open the chest, let the ribs open, lift and still keep that sense of resisting gravity, stretching open and then breathing in. And then just keep flowing through here, <sighs> leading with the tail, rippling through the spine, coming back. Just enjoying that moving motion. <laughs> Stretching out through the front of the body, opening through the chest and sitting back towards the heels. And then I just want you to go left to right, that little easing out through the hips here. And then just walk your hands to one side and just kind of rock forwards and back on that diagonal. So a little side. Breathe and move, and just kind of really ease in and out of it. Just getting moving, and then we're gonna take ourselves to the other way, and just go back and forth there again. So you're kind of on a diagonal here, pushing the mat away. Again, just kind of try and release, try not to hold any tension. And then we'll just take a lovely hip stretch. So really good, again, just to open up through those hips, just step your right foot out in front. Bring your hands up onto the thigh. Get nice and level and just tuck that pelvis under and just ease into a little hip stretch. <clears throat> and back. And reach your arms to the side and this time as you come forwards, rotate towards that right thigh. And breathing, come back. And breathe out, rotate towards that right thigh. Breathe in, come back. One more, rotate towards that thigh. Reach out, reach, reach, twist, reach. And come all the way back. We'll put the hands down to change. So just not too much effort today. Come back up and then place your hands on that thigh and just move forwards and back here. And then reach those arms out as we twist, we reach forwards 
and we come back. And don't worry if you're a bit wobbly, just try and kind of open up your body and then gather back in. So yesterday we were really kind of back in the body, we were really finding those grounds in. So you can feel that here, but just kind of ease into it a bit more as well. Just for the principle of helping our whole body relax and not holding on to that tummy. And then we'll just come on to our all fours again. And we'll do like a little single leg cat just to get some round in and reach through the body. So bring right knee into the chest and then extend it all the way out. Nice stretch, just six on each side. Breathe in, breathe out, round. Get a little stretch through that lower back, reaching through the foot, three, two, One, and hold it in there. Just let your foot rest down. Maybe tuck the toes under, keep the foot pointed, and just take the other hand and just hug that leg. So you get a nice stretch through that low back. Push the mat away. And then release that knee down. Other side, bring the knee in. Breathe out. Just moving through. A little bit of mobility. Well done. Three more, reach into the tips of the toes, letting everything just move, last two. And then just hold that in there, let the foot rest down, hug the shin, just pull it in, stretch and press the mat away. And then we'll just come into all the way onto our front, onto our tummy. And what we'll do here is just a little rocking, just to sh keep stretching and extending through the front of the body. So bend your knee, one knee, and just hold on to the ankle, the inside or the outside. And then the other leg, inside or outside. And then just, I'm gonna go inside. And just maybe hold it here, just letting your hips stretch back. And you're gonna open your chest, maybe press those thighs up and just come into this lovely little extension. It doesn't have to be high. Just letting your back stretch out through the front of the body stretching. Draw in and up and lengthen. And rest down. And let those feet relax. Maybe turn the head to one side and just give your hips a little shake. Left to right. And then we'll just come up, gently pushing the mat away. And just come to a seated position. And we'll just do a little circular movement. So just sitting nice and tall, hands on your knees, and you're gonna just make a little circle with your body. So you're gonna go one side, come forwards, to the other side, and back. And just keep going in this direction with the rib cage. <sighs> Breathing, moving, easing into that circle. Ah. <sighs> and then go around the other way. So again, remember, you can always come back to this routine. If you just feel like you're having one of those days when your tummy's just not feeling, feels a bit full, or you feel just like you don't really wanna, you know, you just don't really feel like you wanna work, like hold everything in, then you can just move and breathe with this routine. You still get some lovely movement in. Good. Okay, let's come to the center. Take a deep breath in and out. And let's reach those arms up, breathe in. Breathe out. One more deep breath in. And out. Good job, everyone. So I see you tomorrow for day 24 for your final routine of this challenge. Good job, guys. See you soon. Bye.